Hello everybody, this is Rock Howard. Welcome to Rad Guild. This is the YouTube channel for the Radix Programmers Guild and in this first video we're going to take a look at the guild's first product which is a programmer's tool called RevUp. So in Radix we use a language called Scripto and right here in Visual Studio you're looking at a simple hello token example of Scripto and it's pretty simple language but we're not here to teach you the language so much today if you've played with it you know that it's pretty easy to write and you have a nice simulator and a CLL environment to play with it but using that CLL, CLI environment is a little bit clunky you have to copy and paste some environment variables and so forth as you go along and it just takes a little while to get your system set up so you can actually test something so RevUp can help because it automates some of the setup process. So let's take a look how that works. Uh, right now we're looking at uh, Hello World. And we start out with just saying RevUp. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so we say RevUp minus I. And it's going to ask us what's the name of the function we're going to call. Of course, we're going to call this new function right up here. So we're going to say hello is the name of the blueprint. New is the name of the function. It doesn't require any arguments. So that's perfectly adequate. And we know that when this comes back, it's going to give us a resource, which is the hello token resource definition. And it's going to give us uh, the actual string for the component itself. So we can just say the first one's going to be, uh, let's call it token ht token ht and the second we'll just call component so that's the hello token component and let's just run that okay so that creates a uh, configuration file right here revup.json you can look at that if you want but it's not really important um, but that's what it uses to operate the next step which is now we just call revup so revup actually runs a whole bunch of commands for us uh, it creates new accounts, creates some tokens, uh, runs our call function, and then sets up environment variables. So that's all very nice. We didn't have to do anything else. And now check this out. It created a file called .env. Let's take a look. Look at that. That .env file has all of the um, strings we needed to pull out. So we got accounts, pub keys, a couple of uh, tokens that were created for us, the package string, uh, the token HT and the component that were set up by the call function all sitting there. So all we have to do is um, source that puppy and we're ready to go. Now we can just um, proceed on with our testing. In this case we want to grab a, a token so let's uh, just call the resem uh, program as per normal. So we'll do call method. And we just do component and we're going to call free token. Bang. And then we can do resim show account. And we can see that we did, in fact, get a hello token. There's that one hello token we got from the free token call. In fact, let's, um, let's call that free token thing again. And now we look at the account again. Now we've got two of them. Brilliant. And we can also, of course, look at uh, the component itself out on the ledger. And we see that it created 1,000 at the beginning, if you read the code, and now there's 998 left sitting in the vault for hello. So there you go. Um, this is the first version of this. It's pretty cool. We're going to uh, improve it, add more uh, capabilities, customizability, and so forth, maybe even a GUI someday. So you can get it by visiting GitHub. Go out and look for the Rad Guild organization on Git, GitHub, and the pinned repo will be RevUp, and you can grab it that way. And again, if you want to learn more about um, resources for uh, Scripto, just learning about Radix and Scripto, check out the links in the description. So that's it. Oh, I wanted to thank Ruben, who uh, is uh, the uh, guild member who dreamed up this uh, project and created the first version of it and gave it its great name of RevUp. 
And uh, I want to thank the other people who've helped test and improve it uh, and look for more from the Radix Programmers Guild coming soon. Thank you. Bye.